Some of Donald Trump's most well-known black supporters, like Mike Tyson and Don King, are defending the former president in a new interview. Trump also suggesting his mugshot, indictments, and conviction actually appealed to some black voters. Joining us now, Kadia Goba, political reporter for Semaphore. She spoke with the former president six days after his felony conviction. Kadia, thank you for your time. How did Trump respond when you asked him about how some black voters think he is a racist? Well, his response was that he obviously is not one because he has, you know, multiple black friends, and namely the people he and I were talking about, the people you named, like Mike Tyson and Don King and Herschel Walker. Um, I think uh, I think it's important to contextualize that and, um, you know, make a point of saying that he was talking about his actual friend, saying, well, these are high-profile people. Why would, you know, why, if anyone thought he was racist, why would they engage with him? So you did speak to some of those people that support him. What did they say about why they support Trump? You know, they had a lot of good things to say. Many of them echoed the same sentiment about, you know, the economy has changed and maybe Democrats aren't um, what they used to be. But some of them pointed to the criminal conviction, and I was surprised uh, to hear that. But some of them specifically, like Mike Tyson and a bunch of others, said that, you know, black men have felt this all the time and uh, or that they've been perse personally persecuted by the judi judicial and court system and now this was an opportunity for someone else to you know see how it happens with black people so i thought that was interesting but i have to, my point was that some of them think that this is very relatable and when i asked them if they're talking to people on the ground they said those people also talk talk about his convictions being relatable black men specifically Kitty, I'm just wondering what your main takeaways was from the process of that interview. Yeah, it was a lot. I mean, I, originally I set out to understand what the campaign was doing as far as outreach to the black the black community, specifically because they were, you know, there's polling that suggests that he has an opportunity or Trump has an opportunity to do well with or bolster his numbers a bit, especially with black men. So I was surprised when they introduced me to all these uh, different people. I mean, I think that, I guess one of my biggest takeaways is that he probably does see himself um, or, or his interactions with black people through the lens of who he talked to in the, or who, uh, through the lens of who he talked to in the 1980s and the 1990s and uses that as an example. He actually told me himself that he was not going to use this conviction thing as part of his campaign. Of course, he talked about it in the interview, but he said he wasn't going to incorporate that into his campaign. Some of the folks in the Trump world, uh, you know, are saying that, you know, the idea that, you know, there's a shot that uh, Donald Trump could could make inroads in, in parts of the, of the black community. But the reality is that if you look at the numbers, I mean, black voters overwhelmingly went uh, for, for Biden in, in 2020. Is there any indication that that could that could change? Yeah, I spoke to a pollster, and he was very against the idea that um, that would change, and suggested that the bump from 2016 to 2020 for Trump was in the realm of um, how voters or how black voters have voted for Republicans in the past. I think he said it's about 14 percent in general, and it just kind of swung between those numbers. So. You know, projective polling is very different from actual, you know, exit polling, so we'll have to see. But I do think, you know, speaking for people on the ground, that there is something there, and that was what I looked to unpack and understand better from this reporting. Kadia Goba, thank you so much uh, for being with us. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me.